great, she yelled when I reached inside her to the elbow and my hand tried to slow dance with a lung when her back ripped and sprayed us under the lightning of my belt as she crawled into the quicksand of my bed when I choked her woozy raised the toilet lid and punched her face until she saw the necklace I'd given her you know who you fucked if she's my wife so what Soon you will be me. If it's her, you so screwed. If not, she lies to you on top of everyone else. I'll tell you this, you're fucking evil if you did. She's so dead. If I want her ass again, I need to love it. If I don't want it enough to scare myself, then I don't. I broke her jaw. Yeah, I see that. Can't you comprehend? Yeah, I'll think about it. There's a guy who's just shit from his dad when he's expected to fuck what he loves, and I'm that shit. <laughs>
This is an immaterial poem about a ghost name of Jonathan. I appear less important to those few among you who knew me when I was composed more realistically. Once my empty sockets seemed like evil eyes to you, and you had no idea their trick wasn't great art. Now I barely exist, but train your eyes on this nevertheless. It's past your bedtime. I've painted myself into a corner. A ghost has been sketched here haphazardly. I'm still myself, but retain no illusions, no matter how I'm executed. To believe in a ghost was small potatoes next to the fear in your eyes. I scared you. All I was is this marked up white sheet. So I ask you again, read into my black holes. I was glad to get that email from you, don't worry about it. Whatever fucked up shit came down between us, it doesn't matter anymore. People change, that's right. I figured you were off doing your own thing and you didn't remember me. I fucked over so many people, I don't expect anyone to give a shit. I've been in AA off and on for a couple of months and they make you think about what you do, so, so I'm better at not, not going over people's boundaries, like they say. I'm sorry for being such a shithead all the time back then make people into my dad and then I have these big expectations that are just stupid. 
I wish I didn't do that, but I still do. I just fucked up this thing with a guy here, although I have to say the guy was as much of an asshole as me. I don't have anybody right now, and I get fucked up when I'm alone. I was clean for four months, but now I slipped and everything goes to hell when I'm using, so your letter came in a good time, because I've been feeling like nobody gives a fuck. I'm sleeping in my van right now because I don't have anywhere to live and I'm getting tired of it. I was doing pretty good for a while there. I got married to this woman Elaine and she's going to have my baby. I was with her for a while and that was a good time in many ways, but I couldn't play it the way she wanted me to play it, so she kicked me out. That's over. She has a restraining order against me, which I deserve because I got kind of crazy toward the end. I don't know if you want to hear all this shit. You, you seem to think I was somebody special and you always did no matter how much I fucked you over, which is why I loved you like I did. But it hasn't worked out that I'm so special. That's probably why I was such an asshole to you because you thought I was so special and I knew I wasn't, but I wanted you to believe it. So I wouldn't let you have what you wanted because I knew if you did that shit for real, it wouldn't be like you thought what you thought because... I'm just another fucking asshole like all the others, but then it got fucked up between us anyway and later I thought I was a total prick for not letting you just have what you wanted because you were so nice to me and I should have given it to you because it's probably the only thing I could have given you to thank you and show you that I cared, but I didn't so I've always felt like an asshole. I sort of wanted to do it, you know, I was just scared you'd think big deal because let's face it, that's what happens, it's not like I've been a saint since I last saw you. I try not to let people have me because it always fucks me up, but then I don't keep jobs very well and I need money, so I let people have me just so I can get by and so that I have something in my life, so I'm not scared of that shit anymore. I don't have big hopes about it. I still had big hopes about it when I was with you. I just thought if I waited until I had my shit together, it wouldn't be like I wasted my life. Then that time you started to go for it and I freaked out, I thought I blew it. I didn't have my shit together and now I know I'll never have my shit together, so I feel like an asshole for freaking out. I don't know why you wrote to me and I'm trying to understand why. The day I got your letter I went to a meeting and told them about you and asked them what they thought. I didn't tell them you tried to kill me because they wouldn't understand but I told them almost everything else. Those people think I'm a fuck up because I slip all the time so I don't really care what they think but they said maybe I hadn't blown it with you and that I shouldn't just blow you off and I should write you back and be honest with you about my circumstances and my addiction and so on and see what happens. So I'm trying to be honest with you but that's not something I'm good at. I'm trying to think about this and not just say if you still want me you can have sex with me as long as you don't give me money. I told them that's what I wanted to say and they said that I should say I love you and I want to be with you and not say the money part really. I don't care about the money part except that I have nothing right now so they said I should be honest with you and that's pretty honest. Sometimes I think the people who go to those meetings aren't being real. It's not real to think you're going to say I love you for who you are and we should be together because I already blew that and I'll be honest with you I think the drugs are always going to be a problem for me. So what I'm thinking is I could come stay with you for a few days and see what happens. I was thinking of driving down to the city anyway and trying to get some money out of these guys I know there. I guess I'll just drive down in a couple weeks and call you. And if you want to see me, cool. If you want to have sex with me, that's cool. And if you feel like giving me some money afterwards, that's cool. But I'm not expecting it. You said you don't know what you want with me now. And I don't know what I want either. Not just with you, but about everything. I know I, I want to go score. And I can do that. That's easy. I know I want you to have sex with me if you still want me. And you said you do. I don't live my life like it matters anymore. When I shoot dope, I don't think about if I do too much, I'm going to overdose. I do as much as I feel like it to get as high as I can. When I let some fucking asshole have me for money, I don't tell him what he can't do. I just go with whatever he wants because it's bullshit otherwise. I got married because I wanted to be with Elaine and she wanted that and I went for it. If you're still into that weird shit, that's the way it is. If I'm going to let you have sex with me, then you have sex with me the way you want. If I don't wake up the next morning, that's the way it is. You were the nicest person to me I ever knew and I just fucked you over left and right thinking I I had to protect something. There's nothing to protect anymore. I gave it a shot and it's not happening. If you want me, you can have me. I used to be so into trying to understand myself, but now I just want to do things and not understand them.